Yo, yo. Kev, we're at it again, man. How's that? I sent my dad a Hydrowise controller. Now he wants to know how to use it. Can you walk him through it for me, man? Yeah, no worries. I'll type him up. All right, appreciate it. Congratulations on acquiring your new Hunter Hydrowise Wi-Fi irrigation controller. Assuming that you've already downloaded your Hydrowise application and logged in, we're going to take you through basic app functionality. So go ahead and pull out your smartphone and open up your Hydrowise application and we'll get started. Starting at the top of your home screen, your notifications keep you informed of critical updates affecting your system's performance. The bottom navigation bar, along with the main menu, located in the upper left-hand corner, allow for ease of navigation within HydroWise. Moving our attention to the zone icons, each zone represents an area of your property being watered by the same valve. By simply tapping on any zone, you are now able to see a summary of the zone's performance, including a history of the previous cycles, a summary for the current week, along with upcoming cycles of irrigation for that zone. To manually activate irrigation, press the Start button, select the zone you'd like to run, put in the increment of time you'd like to run the zone for, and hit Start in the upper right-hand corner. Pressing the Back button in the upper left-hand corner will navigate you back to the home screen, and you can see the icon has a water drop in it now, indicating that it is currently irrigating. To deactivate the manual cycle, simply hit the zone icon and then hit Stop Irrigation in the lower right-hand corner. To suspend a station, simply press Suspend in the lower left-hand corner. Select the zone you'd like to suspend. Scroll down and choose how long of a duration you would like it suspended for. Then hit Done. Pressing the back button in the upper left-hand corner, taking you back to the home screen, you'll now notice a line through the water droplet indicating that irrigation is suspended. To remove the suspension, simply tap on the zone icon and then the garbage can to the right-hand side of the suspension. It'll ask you to confirm. Navigating back to the home screen, you can now see the suspension has been removed. Scrolling down, to the bottom of the home screen allows you to see a weather forecast for the upcoming week as well as the weather for the previous week that's already transpired. Moving now to the main menu in the upper left hand corner that resembles a hamburger. Selecting zones and programs allows you to customize your zone and program information. Beginning with zone customization, select the zones button at the top of the screen. Then scroll down to the selected zone you'd like to customize and press the rectangle with the pencil. Beginning at the top of the screen, if you tap on the bar labeled name, this will allow you to put detailed information about that particular zone, including how many heads are on the zone, and the area of the yard that it's irrigating. This type of information makes it easier for you and your irrigation contractor to service the system. Next, scroll down and tap on the image icon. This will allow you to take a photo of your yard or import one from your photo library if you've previously taken one, which is what I'll show you here. Select the photo you'd like to import, Hit the Choose button in the lower right-hand corner, and now you can see that image is attached to your zone and can be used as the icon for your zone as well. If I jump back to the home screen, you can see that photo now is shown as the icon, along with the detailed information that you added. Pressing the main menu button in the upper left-hand corner and then selecting Zones and Programs will complete our program customization. When you select programs, it'll show you a synopsis of your program, including start time, days of the week it's irrigating, and duration that each zone is running within the program. 
Pressing the rectangle with the pencil in the lower right hand corner will allow you to edit and customize. You can change the name of the program. You can make it time based or virtual solar sync. As you scroll down, you can alter your watering days. Your watering day options include manual selection, as I've done here, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, you can select even days of the calendar month, odd days of the calendar month, or interval days. Start time customization. Simply tap on it. Currently set for 11 p.m. I'll tap on it. I'm going to change it over to 2 a.m. because I like to irrigate at night. Hit the back button. And the final thing on our list is to look at our zones and their duration of runtime. You can alter the amount of minutes that any zone runs for freely. You can also remove the check mark from a zone, eliminating it from the program altogether. Or you can click on one that wasn't in there and bring it in and add the minutes to it as well. You can see HydraWise provides a total runtime calculator for you as well, as displayed on the screen. And in conclusion, here's a summary of your entire program, showing your adjustments. Back to our main menu for our next stop, water triggers. Using a multitude of hyperlocal data points allows HydraWise to make intelligent decisions about when to increase or decrease your irrigation cycles or eliminate them altogether using future cast, current, and past tense data points. Back to the main menu. Next up, sensors. HydraWise controllers are compatible with a multitude of different sensors, including water flow, rain sensor, as you see on the screen here, freeze sensor, and moisture. Back through the main menu to controller settings. This feature allows you to make important changes to information on your controller, such as the name of your controller, the serial number, and the mode of programming. We recommend standard. Back through the main menu and on to reports. Reports provide helpful information about your irrigation system, your past waterings, and one scheduled to happen in the future. And water totals when your system is equipped with a HydroWise flow meter. Back through the main menu. Next up, controller events. Controller events provide a clear timestamp of all controller, software, and user activity back through your main menu to alerts. Alerts allow you to monitor your irrigation system with real-time notification of any potential problems long before they result in a high water bill or damaged landscape. Back through our main menu for our final stop, account details. This page allows you to manage your account information from your email to your name, your plan type, even allowing you to find a HydroWise contractor in your area to manage your irrigation system. But that'll conclude basically your introduction today to HydroWise. Um, you have acquired the most feature-rich, technologically advanced Wi-Fi irrigation controller in the market today. Um, we have given you a good introduction to that application. It's extremely feature rich. And if you would like to take a deeper dive, we encourage you to look at the rest of our YouTube videos or go to hunterindustries.com and click on the video library for a full training across all of the features and benefits that HydroWise totes. But thank you for your time and enjoy.